Like I said, it doesn't really matter. I know you can see, look at that. I mean, that's just, this is like stealing right here. I mean, that's just insane. This guy here is supposed to cover back, um, but he covers the drag. And then look at that. I mean, that's not typically the look. You're not typically going to have where they're running into one another. But you're going to get that free release to the to the Y route pretty much every time. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you today out of the Saints playbook. I haven't put out a uh, too many plays this year from Saints. It's still one of the best passing playbooks in the game. And I'm going to show you guys uh, some passing plays out of the Empty Y Saint, which I'm pretty sure is like the Eagle H Fork or something like that in customs. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. The Empty Y Saint. Um, is one of my favorite formations pretty much every year. Uh, one of my favorite plays is the Saints Fork. Now that play, um, they pretty much patched straight to death, so I don't really use that play anymore, but there's still a lot of really uh, explosive and glitchy plays out of this uh, particular formation. Uh, the play I'm going to start off with is really, you can start off with either one of these. I'm going to say the Saints Goes Whips is probably one of my favorites, although ultimately um, the Saints Under has a very similar effect. Now this play at his core has a very good cover two route on both sides. Um, the B route here, you can see he just gets outside of any press that the cornerback might try to do. I pointed this out in my gameplays in the past. Um, ultimately, a lot of times these cornerbacks, you'll see it on the on the left side here, where this cornerback's going to bump this uh, receiver in. I'll go to the replay to uh, to highlight that a little bit better. Uh, but really, on, on the uh, on the right side, the cornerback, I'm sorry, the left side, the cornerback's going to do what they typically want to do, which is push the uh, the outside receiver in towards the safety. And that's really what makes that successful. On the other side, they want to do the same thing. But this release that that's, uh, I'll show you in a second, it's just a really uh, unique release, which it gets outside of pretty much any press, uh, which is really uh, helpful, especially when it comes to like cover, you know, any man coverage, which I'll show you in a minute. So, like I said, that route, the B route there, it just it gets around pretty much every time. You're going to need some space to make this throw to the sideline, but uh, you can see how successful that's going to be. So, um, and if you have a fast enough guy, like I don't really have a speedster there, but if you have a fast enough guy, he can really get going. I might try to put my fastest guy there in a minute, but you can see, I mean, he's almost he's past the cornerback and he's almost past the safety. I mean, that's pretty much it. If you have man coverage looks like I have now, the Y route obviously is, uh, is set up for man. But you can see here, once again, that route, it, it, it beats every type of press so if you watch the uh, the B route the uh, the cornerback really just loses him right away and then you can make the exact same accurate you know pass to the sideline bullet pass leading outside and you're gonna beat that cover two uh, cover two man very easily for you know like I said that release is kind of glitchy because it, it beats just about anything the next play in this um, series is also uh, two plays that are very similar, that have very similar um, concepts as far as beating man cover two and man uh, zone cover two. And that's going to be the Saints drag or the Saints corner. So all I really have to do for this play to work, like I said, it's going to be the same in the other play, is motion in the X route and put them on a streak. That's pretty much it. So whether it's cover two zone or man, this Y route will have success again. Um, the hardest part is catching and turning up field, but this is an easy one play touchdown. Uh, if you can make that that uh, that catch and run uh, and you know you got to make a good throw but ultimately I'm probably too close to the middle of the field if I was running this to the open side of the field it would be pretty easy so here like I said that that one there I can tell I'm probably gonna be gone if I didn't catch that sideline animation but try to run this one more time uh, as far as checkdowns go like I said the RB route um, is one is already a pretty good check down uh, you can just put them on a drag um, to make that, you know, official. The drag will actually help to uh, to get the Y route open faster when it comes to the cornerback if he, if he reads that. And then you can see right there, I mean, I'm getting good throws. I'm getting huge chunk plays. Um, but to really hit a home run out of this, you probably just have to run it to the side of the field. That's pretty much all it is. Um, because that's really what the issue is, is the sideline's coming up a little bit quick. So always run this to the open side of the field. Uh, like I said, I like to streak the tight end. I also like to re-drag uh, the RB route. And all those things are going to make for a really good check down. So here we go. Now we have a lot more space and we can get up the sideline. I keep catching that sideline. I don't know, man. Maybe you need a little bit of a faster receiver to, to hit the home run than what I have on uh, in New Orleans. Uh, but this is a really good play. So I'm going to do it one more time because I want that touchdown. So... <laughs> in me now i want that i want that touchdown there we go so like i said it's really easy you're, you're arcing it you know just as long as you get the proper pass away from the safety bullet pass lead away from the safety in the right timing you can really it hits some easy touchdowns out of this play 
Now the next play, I'll just pick the Saints corner to show you the same look, but ultimately now I'm going to be going against cover two, uh, man. So same uh, same idea, just motioning in Kamara here, putting him on a streak, um, just to pull safety back. You can also put the uh, the A route on a streak just to pull coverage, RB route on a drag for a check down. Pretty much the exact same setups, exact same play. We're utilizing the Y route. So the Y route here, uh, once he gets outside, um, he's just a good a good cover two man beater because unlike most routes, he gets behind it pretty quick. But if you watch the uh, if you watch the the replay, and I'll probably do that after this particular play. Uh, unlike streaks and other things, uh, the the Y route immediately gets past the the man coverage. As you can see, it's just the way it's designed. And you can see, I mean, it's still pretty tight coverage. I don't quite have the speed that I'm used to with this, but you can see how easily this is uh, to make uh, big plays, even against cover two uh, man, where there's typically a safety waiting over the top. That's what the streaks are for. The streaks are going to make sure those safeties stay back and stay out of the play. And then, like I said, the second that this play starts. You can see he immediately gets behind the coverage corner, which is not typical. And you know the saying, if he's even, he's leaving. That's exactly what's going to happen. He's even with him, so he's always going to have that position. And then, like I said, not quite the speed that I want, but you can see how I'm getting huge chunk plays uh, with this route, whether it's cover two man or cover two zone. One of the things that um, this can do this year that I really didn't do well last year is it's also a super glitchy cover three beater. So I'm going to motion over the tight end this time, put him on a streak, and the RB route, I don't know what happens on the coverage side there, uh, but you can see he completely bails. I'll go to the replay real quick. Uh, I'm going to run it a couple different times here, but watch what happens uh, with the coverage corners in this cover three. This guy here is supposed to cover back, uh, but he covers the drag, and then look at that. I mean, that's not typically the look. You're not typically going to have it where they're running into one another, but you're going to get that free release to the, to the Y route pretty much every time to the outside. Like I said, this is a cover three. I know I'm not showing it, but you can see we got the single high safety and you have the, uh, you know, the, the, the zones are what they are. So let's do this one more time. Maybe we can get a little bit of uh, a little bit of success. But like I said, these cover threes, the way that they're, uh, they, they, they have a lot of, a lot of bugs in them, uh, these cover threes here. So here we get a good throw. Like I said, that's, that's the way it should look nice and easy. Uh, you know, instantly broken touchdown. And like I said, they'll pass this pretty quick. So one of the reasons, if you motion over, I mean, you can motion over any of these guys, but if you if you do that, a lot of times the safety will be more centered, which I don't really want. But since Sanders is a little bit faster, let's go ahead and let's do him instead. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. And now you can see, look at that. I mean, that's just, this is like stealing right here. I mean, that's just insane. It's the, one of the fastest cover three beaters you're going to find in the game. So like I said, it doesn't matter who you motion over. For some reason, the alignment switches here, and then uh, the Y route's just running right past it. Which, hey, how could how could you how could you argue with that? So, like I said, this is a very glitchy play this year. Beats a lot of different coverages, a lot of different ways. The first play I'm going to start out with though is on this page right here, the Saints slant flood. So let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, um, we're just going to use, uh, like I said, I, I, this is something I run maybe 70% of the time, 80% of the time in my game plays. It's just a typical cover two man. So before I start this video, if you guys want to see me put um, all of these plays into one big scheme video, I'd probably have like seven or eight plays out of this particular formation alone. I could put that out as soon as tomorrow. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section, or just hit the like button to help me out, uh, because ultimately that helps my videos. But like I said, if you want to see this in one giant scheme, which I'll probably create tonight and put on my Patreon and on the Join Now community tab. Um, you know, like I said, hit the like button if you want to see that on YouTube. So one of the things I like about this particular play, you don't really need any adjustments it works against cover two man really well just like this just by itself and ultimately I'm really just looking for um, this receiver right here as you can see it, it, the way that this play sets up he just gets inside the safeties perfectly I'm gonna go to the replay I'm probably gonna swap out Drew Brees as well but going to the replay real quick like I said this play right here you don't really need any adjustments you really just want to split these safeties this receiver over here does a really good job of number one beating the press but number two, pulling that safety across, which is what I want. So you can see, I mean, even the way he beat that press, if I didn't pre-diagnose his play, which I typically am going to do, he's going to be wide open right away anyway, uh, which, like I said, not a ton of one-play touchdowns against cover two man or man in general. But you can see how easily this pulls that safety apart. And then where what this play really, uh, where this play is really special is this route right here. And I went and put my fastest receiver here, which isn't really that fast. He's 91 speed kick returner. That's the best thing they have here. Uh, but you can see, I mean, a lot of these routes beat the press. This route beats the press, um, and he's he's wide open, which, you know, like I said, there's not a ton of routes that really do this good of a job against man. But ultimately, like I said, this route here streaking pulls that safety apart, and then this receiver here 
player just crosses his face uh, for a really easy play. I wish I could get a little bit of a better pass. Like I said, I'm probably going to take uh, Drew Brees out. Uh, but you can see, I mean, there's like I said, there's not a lot of plays that have this effect against cover two man. That's why that's really what makes this play so special. So I do. I went ahead and swapped out James Winston because I want that extra arm strength. So essentially on this play, in the replay, it really looked like the Y route was going to beat that press more often than I really think he will. I don't I don't think that that was indicative of how this is going to be throughout. This is not, I mean, there's there's man beating plays here, but they're not as consistent as the RB route's going to be. So, you know, your, your check downs, I mean, the A route's a decent man beater if he's not aligned, like you have the tight end in the middle of the field right there. He's going to get that outside release. Kamara, obviously the slant. Lots of good man beating routes for check downs. But ultimately, this play's all about the RB route. And you can do a couple of things with the RB route to make it even more successful. Like right here, if I smart route him, he basically, um, you, you see the, 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 the break in the route goes from about 5 yards or 7 yards to about 10 to 12 yards. And that's going to really give me the ability uh, to float this ball, which is what I want. Because when you got man, especially if you got a speed advantage, a lot of times you can just float that up and run and sprint and out sprint the defense for an, an even easier play. I don't really have, I mean, the Saints just, it, it, you need more speed than what the Saints have. I, I use the Saints, I try to use the team playbook um, from the team that I'm using. I try to use the team from the team playbook that I'm using, but ultimately, I mean, this is just, uh, they just don't necessarily have the personnel. But you can see it's still really explosive and still really beating this coverage easily. So for a cover one man, we're going to pretty much be using the exact same concept, and that's the Saints seams. Now, it's the same route. It's just on both sides in the slot on both sides of the field. Uh, but it's going to have a different effect. So let's go and let's pick that on the on the defensive side. Like I said, we're just going to continue to go with um, a, a nickel. Uh, this time we're going to go with a cover one man if I can find one. Uh, which, once again, like I said, is a very popular defense this year as well. So, very similar concept, only this time we're going to be focusing on the Y route. I'm going to put him on a smart route, and for whatever reason, uh, you can see he just basically beats that press uh, when I put him in that specific uh, smart route once again. So, nothing really to it. Just smart route him, and then you'll get this animation. The second he gets past the coverage, you can just lob it. Uh, I, I typically, I mean, I, I'm running it with a, a, a relatively not too fast receiver in Michael Thomas. Uh, but he also has a uh, pretty good ability to beat the press, which is going to be important. So, like I said, that's really all you need. You can see it's an instant gone uh, type of play. Uh, and like I said, all comes from smart routing that route. That's all you really have to do. So whether it's uh, man zero or man one, like I said, just smart routing that guy gives him that release, lob it, uh, you know, type of back shoulder fade throw. It's not always going to be a touchdown because he's not always getting the hugest separation. Uh, but you can see it doesn't really matter. I mean, he's getting uh, enough consistent, like right there. Now that there, he got the inside release. I'm going to have to take the check down on that one. If he doesn't get the outside release, it won't work. That's very important. I'm going to go to the replay real quick. There's really two different release types that you could get. Um, so that's why you probably want to zig. I would say zigging somebody as a check down would be good, although the tight end's a pretty good man beer as well, as you saw. But if he doesn't get this outside release, if for whatever reason that cornerback doesn't release him outside this plays dead against cover one because ultimately the idea is to throw away from the safety and that's gone because the the cornerback's going to cut that off so that's pretty much the only thing you got to watch i find that you if you motion in this receiver here uh that sometimes uh that will kind of make the cornerback want to give an outside release based off of the fact that um you know, there, there's two receivers, there's a receiver inside of them. I find that that's a good adjustment to make, but it also draws attention to what you're doing. So ultimately, you have to make that choice. If you do that, your user might decide to use over there. But a lot of the plays that I showed in the first video, uh, I motioned this guy in as well. So it's not something that really should be detrimental by any means. So like I said, right there, didn't quite get the separation, but you can see he's getting behind it, which is really the most important part. If you have, I mean, there's not a lot of receivers in the game better than Michael Thomas, but there are a lot faster receivers in the game than what are on this particular uh, team. So so you can see, like I said, he's getting behind it. That's all you really need. It's not always going to be a one-point touchdown because, like I said, I don't necessarily have the speed. But if you're going to make that adjustment by putting by motioning Kamara in, I would say, um, you know, then, then at that point put him on like an out route, uh, something like that, so that you, you have a decent check down there uh, because you might rely on that. Like I said right there, there if I don't get that outside release, I'm going to take that check down. You know what I mean? And the outside release seems to be... Um, you know, it's 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 not a guarantee. Like I said, it really depends on what cornerback you're going against. Uh, but you can see, I mean, it's pretty consistent. You can see right there, we get that outside release. The second I do, it's just a lob it up, uh, big play. Um, but ultimately, you're not always going to get that outside release. So you got to have a backup plan. And this, this running back uh, being inside like that 
is definitely a good option. And then you also have that tight end as well. So here he doesn't get that release. We get that check down. Like I said, I can take that all game. So any man coverage, you really got two routes on that side. They're instantly open. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more plays out of the Saints, let me know in the comment section with the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.